We look for the sweet food, the sweet point that's going to give us the most back, the most bang for our buck. Here are 10 foods or 10 food groups that are going to help you when it comes to optimizing your sleep, which in turn will optimize your energy output, your focus during the day, and get you more money as a result. Number one, bananas. Yep, as the minions go bananas, or something like that. They're going to help with potassium, uh, magnesium as well, which is going to help you with when people get in, they get tired and they get a restless leg syndrome, and just going to help you with that energy. It helps relax you as well, helps with circulation, helps with digestion. These things are all going to aid you to let your body be able to deal with stress a lot better and allow you not to wake up multiple times during the night and help you sleep better. Number two, salmon and other fatty fish. Full of omega-3s, good fats as we like to say. They're gonna help reduce your stress hormones and the spikes that happen in those stress hormones which keep you awake and switch on your adrenals to the point where the stress is actually gonna be damaging to your long-term goals. And they're gonna help promote restfulness, which means you're gonna get better sleep. Number three, you either like it or you don't, kale. You could have spinach in there, another dark green veg, full of potassium, full of calcium. Uh, they're gonna be sleep-inducing nutrients, micronutrients there that are gonna help you get to sleep when your head hits that pillow. Sweet potatoes are number four, and they're full, again, of potassium. Also carbohydrates. Too many people go on a very low carbohydrate diet, which actually impacts their sleep to a degree that they don't get the restful levels of sleep that increase the growth hormone and help burn body fat, help allow your body to fully recover and actually allow you to get the results that you deserve from the effort you're putting in. Number five, almonds. For the proteins and fats here, help keep your blood sugar levels nice and stable so you don't crash and you don't crave foods quickly afterwards from that spiking into them, the drop and then going all over the place. Really good there. Other nuts are going to be good as well. Number six, eggs. Again, they've got the protein and they've got the fats. And if you add carbs to this meal as well, like eggs on toast or something like that, if you're intolerant to gluten, maybe not have the wheat there, then they're going to help release something called tryptophan which allows your body to relax and get into that deep sleep, which is what we want. And it's gonna help you, again, decrease the waistline, increase your bottom line. Number seven is milk. If you're intolerant to dairy, then you could potentially go through having nut milk or coconut milk and stuff like that, but you're not gonna get as good levels of electrolytes, carbohydrates, proteins, fats in there, but calcium is a big one. Calcium is gonna help your body produce melatonin, which aids your body in relaxation in the evening. A lot of people, especially in America, will supplement with this. In the UK, it's harder to get melatonin as a supplement, but your body needs to produce that on its own in order to allow it to relax to get that deep sleep. Number eight is cereal. It's a breakfast thing, right? Well, cereal helps as I've said before with the eggs, having some carbohydrates with it, cereal is going to help that tryptophan relief. It's a carb source. Don't get really high sugary ones, but if you do, have it with some fats, have it with some protein, and you will actually not blunt the blood sugar spike, but you will just slow down the release there. Number nine is chamomile teas. Now, there are some other herbal teas that will help, but these help your central nervous system and body as a whole unit relax. If you are relaxing, you're switching off, you're turning off electrics, you have a chamomile tea, that is part of your evening routine, your body knows it's time to chill out, relax and hit the pillow. Number 10, oatmeal. Again, a lot of people like it for breakfast, I love it in the evening. My clients love it in the evening and I have it with water and have some protein and some frozen fruit but it's got magnesium, it's got potassium, it's got calcium. As we've said, these are things that are going to help your body relax, help your body recover, help your body get into that state where it needs to be in order to allow you to sleep, optimise levels to allow your body to recover fully and get the most out of the work you are putting in during the day. So they are 10 foods that are going to help your output via sleep. Bananas, salmon, kale, sweet potatoes, almonds, eggs, milk, cereal, chamomile tea, and oats. 
there are more but these are ones which I use regularly pretty much every single day in order to allow my body to recover because yes you could go to the gym and break your body down you could do a workout to break your body down but you still need to top up that glass top up the recovery glass with the fluids you need we should put hydration in there really with the fluids you need in order to recover let your brain focus let your energy prosper and reach your full potential.